It was actually really funny when we first came up with the ball, we just had this toy ball that we'd show people in, in meetings to sort of um, convey this, this idea of having a, a robot ball that you can control with your phone. But people, people started to really get it and people started to really like the idea, but it was, it was hard. It was a really hard problem to actually build a robot ball that you can control with your smartphone. And there was so many nights where Adam and I would sit down and be like, there's so many other ideas that would be so much easier to make. Why did we pick the ball? So as I started prototyping this, this robot ball, we wanted something that could nearly instantaneously move in any direction. The first idea that I prototyped was I took a, an old ball mouse apart. So, so basically there's a the shell, and then there's a, a mouse ball sitting on the bottom of the shell, and then two mo motors sitting on top of this mouse ball, and the idea is when the motors drove, it would move the mouse ball, which would then move the mechanism inside the shell. And it turned out to be way too complicated. We had some other crazy ideas. We talked to some people. Uh, this guy had an idea of, of filling the shell half full with water, and we'd have like a little boat inside sitting on the water that when the boat like motor boated like over to one side, like it might roll the shell, but obviously like that didn't work. We had so many different ideas on how to make this thing move, but what we found actually did work for the mechanics was essentially a segue inside of the ball. So picture, picture yourself on a segue inside of a sphere, and that's essentially what our mechanism is inside. 